By now, you've all read the headlines. Millennials are altering the codes of marriage. And we've all been warned. Millennials, dismiss matrimony at your own peril. I've heard it all and I call BS. Look, you can blame my generation for a lot of things, but if the wedding industry is in a slump, my friends didn't get the memo. We are all in, even if we don't know exactly what we're doing. I should know, I'm a pro at bridal madness. No, I'm not a wedding planner. I'm a real expert, a bridesmaid. Always a bridesmaid. Here's the lucky number 13. <laughs> Mr. Henry. Are you hungry? most consistent male presence I have in my life, and you're a fish. My figures. Good morning, Miss James. Good morning, Chanel. Love that top knot. Karina James. Terrence. You wanna hear what I dreamed of last night? Not if it has anything to do with me, Cardi B, and a 40 ounce. Oh, come on, those are a few of my favorite things. Go somewhere. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hey, <laughs> baby, look at you. Oh, he is waiting for you. Oh, how are you doing today, Miss Ruby? Same as I ever was. How was that wedding this weekend? Same as it ever was. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, I remember when I was your age, I was a bridesmaid many a time, too. Never caught a bouquet, never got a ring. <laughs> but I have my health, my worth, my 401k, and King Jesus. Won't he do it? Hallelujah. <laughs> so I am A-OK. -okay. Well, I have something for you. Me? <gasps> Happy birthday. You remember. Oh, it's not every day that you turn 25. <laughs> we need to celebrate these things. <laughs> I just love you. I love you. Get in there before he starts yelling again. In my day, it was impolite to enter an office without knocking, especially one occupied by the president of the company that you work for. Well, my father says life's too short to follow rules. That's how he built a publishing company from the ground up. Largest minority-owned publishing house in the Midwest. Midwest. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. I know, Dad. You wanted to see me? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, this quarter is proving busier than the fall. We can't piggyback on beach reads. We have to slide our heavy hitters in while the book buying mode is stable. Dad, you know I can't oversee all of that. My new job starts next quarter. Don't be selfish. Just tell them that you need more time. I don't need more time. I need an editor, and I need a damn good one, and you're almost a prodigy. There's always Carl. Carl is a twit. Dad, Carl's your son. And he's a twit. OK, he's book smart. But he's a damn idiot. That boy is in Brazil right now trying to find himself again. Baby, baby. <laughs> I just need you to see me through this period. That's it. And then you can go be, you know, uh, um. Copy editor, Dad. You know the title. Well, I can give you a better title. And I can give you more money than the Sun Times. Tribune. Whatever. Downward dog, just follow my lead. So you didn't say yes? Oh. Didn't say anything. I mean, it's not like he listens to me anyway. Classic nesting syndrome. You stay in a safe, unfulfilling job at your father's company so that you can place the blame on him for being stuck there. OK, <laughs> can we change the subject and get off of me? That's the problem, girl. You just want to get up on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. She needs to finally practice radical self-love. 
At some point, you have to stop people pleasing and please yourself. Yeah, girl. When you got a minute to yourself late at night, run that shower head. Mm -hmm. Full blast. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, maybe that, but also, you need to start dating. And they're right about you. Even in college, you were on every sorority committee doing the most. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's okay to say no sometimes for your own sanity. When is wedding number 14 anyway? This weekend, and I don't keep count. Girl, yes, please. Do. Pace yourself, because my wedding is coming up, and it's going to be lit. <laughs> <laughs> well, show me some of your poses you're going to be throwing at the party. Oh, OK, I got one for you. This right here I call the little kid. <laughs> Just like to make a quick toast. I have known Kenny for about 10 years. Actually, ever since I took his starting position on the football team. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, bro. It's all right. Seriously, man, you've done good. I mean, you couldn't have found a more beautiful and caring woman to begin your life with. So, raise your glasses. Wait, don't lift your glass yet. We wish you all nothing but happiness. Salute. <laughs> Hey, girl, hey. Hey. I'm so glad you're OK. You saw that? Girl, everybody saw that. You're kind of on display. I just need to catch my breath, literally. Well, good luck in that dress. Who's that guy over there, the best man? Mm, that's Mark Randall. Fine, ain't he? He just, he looks so familiar. You know him. He went to Hampton with us. Oh, really? He's an accountant now. Girl, he making much bank. I'm talking paid. He moved to Chicago two months ago, and he already looking at lofts, girl, in the Gold Coast area. Gold Coast. Janelle, how do you know that kind of stuff? Girl, I believe in fiscal responsibility. And your boy secures the bag, OK? That can't be her. Yes. She and Tracy were in the same sorority. Now, Karina was the queen of the stuck-up crew. Yeah, yeah, but not without reason. I mean, even almost falling on her ass, she still look good. Oh, you still nursing that, uh, that crush I see. Negro, please. I ain't never had no crush on Karina Blakeston. OK, well, I'm going to leave you alone uh, to rewrite history. Huh? You hear that? That's my wife calling. Don't that sound good? Wife. Do you want me to reintroduce y'all? No. He just looked familiar. That's all. All right. Karina Blakeston. Karina James, actually. Oh. You're married? No, um, I am. Divorced? No, single. Never married, so never divorced. I go by my mother's maiden name now. Hmm. OK. Why? It's a long story. How are you, Mark? I'm, <laughs> I'm shocked that you remember my name. Yeah, it's been a while, but I did get some help. You know, Janelle is still the one-stop <sighs> source for headline-breaking news. Yeah, even Black Twitter can't compete with Janelle. What's her motive? You know, I have no idea. She told me everything about you, though, except for your social security number. No, wait, she told me that, too. I'm thinking of getting a MasterCard in your name. Well, please be gentle with my credit. <laughs> I wouldn't want that chump Trump blaming me for an economic slowdown. So how are you? Ready to get out of this bridesmaid's dress. I am starting to think this whole bridesmaid's thing is a patriarchal conspiracy. Oh, a way of browbeating you into submission. Huh. Are they keeping a good woman down, huh? I think you might be onto something. You are too. So what do you say? Let's toast to the shared disillusionment of modern-day wedding rituals. 
and I hope that there's something more. It was good seeing you again, Karina James. Take care. My fingers are getting numb. Okay, okay. Why are you knocking on the door like a crazy person? Why are you taking so long to answer the door? Because <laughs> this wife of mine is in there trying to cook vegan, and somehow I got enlisted to be in her sous chef. Is it too late to fast? I heard that. Fred started it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he did. What did I, I do? Hello. Hello. You look good. Thank you, girl. Tam, when are you going to get your new pictures? Well, I'm actually going to put photography on hold until my next book. Oh, my father's going to be happy to hear that you're starting a new one. Who said that he would be publishing it? E I got your back. Can I be the one to tell him? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Who's coming over this late besides me? I don't know. Maybe you expected somebody else? Yes, can you please get the door for me? Okay. <laughs> wow, welcome. Uh, those are nice. What'd the runner up get? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a pageant, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, here. Leave the jokes to me, Bradley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, welcome, babe. Dawson! Damn! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> So happy you were able to join us. Thanks for the invite. Oh, he's yeah. joining us. Yes, I figured since he's new to the neighborhood, I would invite him over for dinner to meet some of our friends. Okay, well, only one of our friends is here. Brad, so. can you go in the kitchen and Yeah, check okay, me? I get it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Dawson. Karina. Yeah. I squinted and I said, that doesn't look like a foot to me. <laughs> Because I'm the footman. Right. <laughs> no, I say that to say, in all jest, that you can really tell a lot about a person just by looking at their feet. Oh, no way. Hmm, Karina. Um, oh. more dessert? Anyone? Maybe? Oh. You guys want to? No, no, I'm totally fine. You sh uh, don't, don't be ashamed. I mean, you have short, stubby toes. OK. No, don't be shy. Look, oh my, my feet, I have really long toes. And you see, the second one says that I'm a great reader. Wow. Not just the glasses. I'm a great reader because I, I can elongate my eyeballs because it's connected to my toes. Wow, I never See, knew that. That's not science. You learn something new every day. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I've got to say, this was an amazing meal. Thank you. I hate to rush off, but I have to catch a flight at 6 a.m. Oh, nice. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm off to Detroit for a, a, a symposium on the diabetic foot. A symposium? Yeah, it's like a whole podiatry thing. It's like a TED Talk for feet. TED Talks, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> TED Talk. Okay. All right. Okay, well, let me walk you to the door. Yeah, uh, Karina. Um, okay. It was uh, totally my honor to meet your acquaintance and break bread with you. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again, hanging out, and getting to know you further. Well, I'm sure Tam will arrange something. Yep, okay, well, let's, yeah. uh, let me walk you to the door. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. OK. Thank you so I appreciate much it. for coming. Thank yeah. you, Tam. Amazing. And you're right, she looks way better in person. <laughs> yeah. All right. Pleasure meeting you. All right. Thank you, Tam. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome back it. anytime. I, thank you. <laughs> Head talk. <laughs> Huh. Have you ever been set up against your will? Why, I'm fine, Karina. Thank you for complimenting my sermon. I'm sorry, Pastor. I loved your sermon. Mm -hmm. Who's meddling in your love life? Damn. Matchmaking. Can you believe that? I mean, she forced me to date. Well, she's probably just concerned about you. You've been through a lot with your mom's passing and your strained relationship with your father. I'm sure she's just trying to help. That's what best friends do. I know. But it's embarrassing. Why can't people just do what you want them to do? That is not how life works, Karina, and you know that. God gives each of us free will to use as we see fit. And for the record, it's not a bad idea. What? Dating. In all of our sessions, you never mention dating. Tell me, Karina, do you date? Huh? Do you ever accept invitations from eligible young men to have coffee or attend movies? Do you date? Not really. But listen, it's not like not dating is the decision that I've made. It's just, <sighs> okay. 
when I was taking care of mom, I didn't have the time. And now that she's gone, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it all out, you know? Life, love, career, just everything. I understand, but you do realize that every day you make choices that affect your life. When it comes to love, you're either preparing to be someone's wife or to remain single. Now, one isn't better than the other, but dating helps you figure out which is best for you. You're in a lot of weddings, Karina. It may be time to decide if you ever plan on being a wife or not. Hi, excuse me. I'm looking for my Jenkins. Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle Jenkins is just getting ready. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. These dresses are they're beautiful. Très jolie, no? They are our best sellers. You would look magnificent in one. Mm. Thank you. Here comes the bride. <laughs> oh my gosh. You look so beautiful. I know. <laughs> Girl, my boobay king said to get the best. They had to offer, honey. This is $20,000, sis. Check me out. Are you ready for this bachelorette party? It's going to be so lit. What do you have planned? This time, you don't even want to know. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I don't, but tell me. Just think about this. The theme is lingerie on fire. And you got to check your cell phone at the door. <laughs> an adventure and I'm glad you made it back in one piece but I commend you on deciding to attend you made a choice yeah but once again I felt stupid I mean why do I keep saying yes to these weddings it's like I want to punish myself love is beautiful Karina love is hard pastor and being betrayed by love is even worse like my mom and dad I don't think I'm ever gonna get over that. Hmm. Well, that'll be unfortunate because your mom forgave your father and that was their marriage, not yours. Little girl, you gotta get over all this anger and fear if you're ever gonna heal and learn to love. I just don't think this love thing is for me. God is love, Karina. So love is for everybody. Karina? Nancy! Do you live in Chicago now? I do. When was the last time we saw each other? Your sorority mixer before graduation? Right. It was the night that you and the dean from that cap line got caught. Oh, well, it just so happens I married the dean of the cap line. <laughs> and congratulations. How's married life treating you? What are you talking about, Nancy? I'm not married. Really? Well, someone said that they saw your wedding pictures. Oh, weren't you in Sharon's wedding? And Diane's, and... Yes, yes, and probably yes. Huh. Isn't life funny? Look, who would have thought you, Miss Popularity, would still be single after all this time? <laughs> You're 30, right? Uh, 29. Which, come on, is 30. Huh. Life is... I don't know. Maybe you're just perpetually in that unmarried gray area. Karina! Get... There you are. Tam and on their way. <sighs> hey, Nancy. Hey. Long time no see. Yes. Listen, girl, is that your mom van outside? Because somebody is skiing the mess out of it. And a cop is writing a ticket. And they told me, girl. Not my X7. Oh, yes, your X7. You better run and get it. Adios. Sayonara. Bye, Felicia. Bitch. Thanks for the save. How did you know that was her car? I didn't. I just figured she drove a mom van. 
Girl always got you. Friends don't let friends get hated on. But you know, I don't know. She might be right. I'm almost 30 and I'm still single. I mean, even my cousin Toy Toy got married and she's doing 20 years of life. Give me your phone. What you doing? What you two chicken to do? Look, if you really want a shot at love, you just got to dive in. I didn't say I wanted a shot. Mm -hmm. And to answer your question, I'm activating all the dating apps, linking you into all the meetup groups, and basically expanding your social circle. Voila. Let the love begin. Now, before I send you out into the wilderness, we got a few rules. First, you need a pop spot. An out-of-the-way place you can pop in and out of just in case the date goes awry. I got one. Right by my office, very little foot traffic, discreet, quiet. Perfect. Meet them there and watch out for these traps. Micro-dating, AKA clandestine flirting, is when a man has all the sauce, but he's sharing the flavors with others. Oh, that's easy to spot. Think again. And then there's love bombing. It's what I like to call doing the most. It's always way too much, way too soon. The love bomber is Dr. Jekyll, and sadly, you'll soon meet Mr. Hyde. Then there's the textation ship, engaging in an entire relationship via text. Yes, people do that. Don't do that. And then sidebarring. When a man's more in love with his devices than he is with you. Beware. What y'all over here talking about? Girl, I'm just giving her the ins and outs on dating. Oh, she needed to. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, the Bergerac. Like Cyrano de Bergerac, dating by committee. I don't get it. OK. So you know how these rappers hire their homies to ghostwrite raps for them? We gonna ghostwrite your text message. <laughs> It'll still be you. It's what? better. Four heads are better than one. And also, I'm getting my whole life. Oh, no, I can write my whoa, own message. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a Girl, match. your baby daddy. <gasps> oh, no, we cannot know I'm using dating apps. Girl, ain't nothing wrong with you. Say hi. How do I delete my profile? No. Wait, 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 what, what did I just do? <laughs> Just, what? You just swiped right on at us. <laughs> Is that bad? I mean, if it's bad, it was an accident. No, 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 I didn't even do it. I palmed right. Same <gasps> thing. He called me. Hey, answer, answer. Put it on. 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 Interesting. You know what? I don't know who put my information on that site. I don't do that. Uh, it might, I, might, I might be getting catfish or kittenfish or flatfishing or some type of fishing. I figured. So, tell you what. Now that this catfish has stolen your identity, we need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, girl, listen, listen. Put on mute. Girl, listen. Tell him that you're going to come over after you have some coffee. Tell him to light a candle, to bring Henry. Y'all go. Why my fish got to be involved? Because you need an audience, girl. Some Make people are sure. into that. Push the tits up. I know you ain't got much. Well, push <gasps> them up. You look right. So, <laughs> lock in my number and let's talk soon. Oh, and don't worry, Karina. I'll catch you. <laughs> Bye, daddy. Bye, daddy. Bye, daddy. Bye, daddy. Bye, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> So, I finished my notes on the manuscripts, galleys, uncorrected proofs, and ARCs. And it actually took a lot less time than I thought. Well, um, since my time is winding down here, I just... Uh... You'll be back. This is just another one of your little phases. Like the time you went away to write your so-called book. I told you then that you would be back and see what happened. You're back. No. I came back because mom was sick and you said you needed my help. I need your help now. Dad, I need to do this for me. Everything you do is for you. Are you kidding me? Nothing I do is for me. That's the problem. You know, the only consolation is, is that your mom is not here. To see you just leave me high and dry, you know, she wouldn't understand. You out of anybody should know how understanding mom was. 
No. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. No, no, no. I want to know what you meant by that little statement. Karina. It's just... I saw you. Okay? Saw me... Saw me where? I saw you with her. The woman, the one that used to work for marketing, the one that would always disappear when mom would come to the office. I have no idea what you're referring to. It was a work night. It was late. You were in your car and I just... Okay, okay, we're not discussing this anymore. Mom knew, didn't she? That last argument before you went to the hospital, mom knew. Okay, Karina, that's enough. That she was sick! Did you even care? I'm not doing this! If you're lucky, you will learn about marriage. Okay, what goes on between a man and, and his wife... And his mistress? God, Dad. When I was little, you were my hero. Now I doubt that they even exist, and that scares me to death. This is over with. Yeah, it's over! You did it. I know I did it. I told you. What? Oh, wait. Mickens residence. Wait, 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 wait. Talk the phone. She's my friend. I wanted to tell her the good news. Brad, Tam, it's Karina. Hey. Great news. Great news. Can you guess it? Can you guess it? I'm excited. All right. We pregnant. What? We pregnant, girl. We literally just found out you have perfect timing. Wow. I'm I'm happy for you guys. Karina, I'm sorry, I'm gonna call you back, okay? I'm cool. That's how you make twins. That's how you make twins. So you said you were happy for them and you really aren't. It's not that I'm not. It, it just made me feel like I'm going nowhere. Love is a choice, Karina. I know, I'm just not good at this dating thing. I tried. Do or do not. There is no try. Jesus. Yoda. Ooh, girl. It's worse than I thought. What's up, Terrence? I'm on a serious deadline. Yeah, yeah, got that. Uh, Karina. I heard that you were going stag to your cousin's wedding this weekend. Were you eavesdropping at my door again? Didn't I tell you not to do that? No, no. See, I was walking by your door, and I overheard you telling Ruby that you were going alone. So I figured, why not let a brother tag along? And why on God's plentiful green earth would I do that? Because God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Damn, Karina. Give a brother a chance. Seriously, how long have I been in your ear? Too long. Way too long. Good point. But, like Dope 45 says, what do you have to lose, though? OK, you know that logic doesn't work on 94% of black women? I'm in that number. Come on, Karina. It's just one day, right? I love weddings. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I will give you one chance not to embarrass yourself or me. Sorry. Yes. Bet. I promise you that I will be the best day you ever had. Believe it. Yeah, that doesn't really work either. Ladies and gentlemen! Long gone before all the shuffles and slides. You know, Cupid, Electric, Cha Cha. Come on, girl, loosen up. All right, the night's still young. Come on, come on, drink this. No, 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 I'm fine. And don't you think maybe you should slow down a bit? What are you my AA counselor? You have an AA counselor? Yes, it's part of my probation. Trumped up, drunk, and disorderly charges. Okay, how did Human Resources miss that? Proper betting's a lost art. Don't I know? Mm. You want some cake? Cake is great. I'm gonna get us some cake. How about that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, you know, go handle some things. <laughs> Your catfish's profile never mentioned you had a sweet tooth. Haha, -ha. this is actually for someone else. Right, uh, your date. Well, in that case, I suggest you use two forks. I was actually going to get one, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mark? Oh, my cousin Brian, he's the DJ. Small world, right? Tiny. Yeah, I uh, helped him bring his equipment to the reception, and I stayed when I saw you. I'm, I'm happy that I saw you. Is he bothering you, Karina? I'm sorry? Is this clown in the monkey suit bothering you? Well, I'm impressed. It's not every day you get the double barrel clown in a monkey suit insult. I have to shake your hand, I'm Mark. I'm Mark? Yeah, well, I'm T. Weezy, bruh. And Karina, I'm Karina's date. See, what you, what you need to realize, I'm Mark, is when to back up, all right? This right here, this is my time, all right? I've been waiting three years to defrost this ice cream. Excuse me? And tonight, she's my property, Caprende. All right. Mm -mm. You need a mint and a clue. I am not real estate. Oh, 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 hell no, all right? This ain't Blakeston Publishing. <clears throat> Out here, I'm the man, Karina, all right? Who you think you're talking to? All right, look, I think it's time for you to check your tone, Slick. <laughs> or what, Mark? <gasps> oh, okay, all right. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> No, no, I'm just, I just, let me just get All right, on. look. Let's go! Mm, here. Just, I could just give me. I'm gonna save your ass. What? Ow, I'll bruise easily, man. Come on. Damn it. Aren't I a beauty? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for the shit. Hey, you know what? Don't even mention it. And three words for you. You deserve better. Well, this is definitely the drunkest wedding I've ever been to. Yeah. I mean, even the bride and groom are lit. Yeah, that's love. It has to be. It's not tidy. No. Not pretty. Oh, well, definitely not. Or politically correct. You got that right. But it's real. We are looking at real 
true till death do us part, but I have no idea what that's about. Uh, excuse me. So you swipe right, but you don't call back, and you just leave me just like that. Rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's been a long day. My feet hurt. I'm ready to go home. And I just realized I didn't drive. Terrence did. Mm. Well, lucky for you, you have a few options. Oh. I do. Oh, yeah. Chivalry is not that with me. Okay. Option one, uh -huh. you can wait in the car with T. Wheezy while he sleeps it off. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't let him drive home. Option two, you let me take you home and I come back and pick my cousin up in his gear. Or option three, I call you an Uber. Mm -hmm. What will it be? Let me think. Uh... Huh. Uber. Well, then. <clears throat> Over it is. All right. <laughs> Tea Weezy. Tea Weezy. Huh. Yeah. Well, the Uber should be here any minute. Thank you again, Mark. Are you sure I never talked to you in college? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I always took it you were too cool for me. No, uh, I guess I was just an idiot back then. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry now. What, you think that tired little sorry is gonna make up for it? Girl, you hurt me. My life took an ugly turn in college. Well, if it's any consolation, so did mine. How so? I don't know. It's like everybody thinks that I have it all together. But most of the time, I have no idea what I'm doing. And not weddings. Weddings I'm great at. My life, you know? I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Who does? I'm serious. And if anyone else our age says otherwise, well, they're in denial. How's this? I'm an accountant who hates crushing numbers. What sense does that make? Not much. You feel better? Uh, no, actually, I just feel like we're both crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a point there. Uh. Oh, Uber Black. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> How are you? No, you owe me nothing. Okay, fine, you can owe me one. <laughs> Let me take you to lunch or something, or come to a dinner party at my friend's house on Tuesday. I don't know, I mean, groups? No, no, it's just those two and us. Come on, Mark, say yeah. How could I say no? Let's get you home. Terrence, I promise I bought Mason's weekend just for you, and if you... Oh, okay, so you Mason dudes now. Me, Bradrin! <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Brazil. No, I got back on Saturday. Now, I heard that you have been finally planning on leaving this place after several false starts. Ha ha. You know you're killing an old man, right? Oh, he's too old and bitter to die. He's threatening to write you out of the will. The day I resigned, he told me I was never in it. Ooh, that's crass. Yeah. Even for Dad. So, what's the plan? You gonna bum around the Caribbean? Me in whose trust fund? You right. Now that's you, bro. I am actually going to finish writing my first novel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right? Dad said that you were gonna be a fact-checker for the Sun-Times. Copy editor for the Tribune, and why 
Are you asking me questions if you think you already know the answer? Conditioned behavior. Mm. So wait, back up, back up. Tell me more about this writing thing. <sighs> so after Dad and I's last argument about me leaving, um, I don't know, I realized I still wasn't choosing me or what I wanted to do. So I decided to take a year off and finally finish writing my first novel. Yeah, writing's my passion. That's what I really want to do. You okay? I don't know, I just... I've been thinking about her a lot lately. Why do you think she married Dad? <laughs> Temporary insanity? No, no, I'm serious. I don't know. I think maybe she loved him. Everybody acts as if that's magic or something. I think she picked wrong. And I mean, is that genetic? You know, the inability to pick the right person? No, it's not genetic. <laughs> Why? What, what, what are you worried about? You ain't getting married. Why would you say that? Well, cause you said it to me once. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I remember you, you had broke up with some knucklehead and you was like, I am never walking down the aisle. And so far you've been acting like you meant it. <sighs> Karina, all of your focus has been on work and other people. But sis, remember, you matter too. The book you're writing matters. And you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to, anything. Remember that. Thank you for saying that. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, upstairs to the left. Behave. Yes, thank you. It's new. I figured you were a tulip person. <sighs> I ain't Thank you. You're beautiful. Yeah. Come in. Uh, it's nice. You think? And you have fish. Yes. This is Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry, meet Mark. You know, I shake his hand, but he and I are just mad, and I like to take things slow. Oh, that's a smart move. He's a prude. It's beautiful. Thanks. Uh, Tam took it. That's my mom, Corinne James. Right. The last night. Yeah. I changed it after she died. I just thought it'd make me feel closer to her, you know? Hmm. We better get going. They're expecting us at 7 o'clock sharp. It's, it's our ritual. Come on. OK, Palm Palm City. There it is. Palm Palm City. Palm Palm City's a word. What does it mean, Brad? Self-important cheerleaders? OK. Uh -huh. No, OK, because the pom-pom. I see what you're saying. Mm. Let me take that. That's... Actually, that's a W. Yeah. Is it a W? Yeah. Why are you selling me out, babe? You're supposed to be on my side. My this husband. The OK, idiot. well, look, it's still a triple word score. Add it up, damn. <laughs> Karina, do you want to help me in the kitchen? No, 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 I'm OK. I got you, babe. Brad, you can sit down. Karina can help me. OK, we don't need the violence, Tam. <laughs> What? Was it that obvious? Karina, help me in the kitchen. Wink, wink. What was that? I couldn't wait. Karina! I don't want to. No, 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 no. He is articulate. Mm -hmm. He is educated. Yes. He has a sense of humor. Yes. He's fine. He's oh. butter pecans. And yeah. he's pretty sure you two are in here talking about him. I'm just here under the guise of getting more water to find out for sure. What do you think, Brad? Oh, I mean, I think you guys are kind of the gossiping sort, so yeah, you probably are in here talking about him. She's talking about Mark. Oh, oh, Mark? Mark? <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> yeah, Mark, he's cool people. You better than cool. Girl, he's fine. You fine. Mm. Okay. look good too. You fine too, though. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Go ahead, go back in there with him. <laughs> Give him that. Yes. Okay. You might be doing too much. <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, you look beautiful. Thank you. That's one of the only bridesmaid's dresses I've worn again. Uh oh, so what'd you do with the other 30 or so? <laughs> what? I mean, she is in a lot of weddings, right, babe? What? Well, I find it admirable that she stands up for so many of her friends. Thank you. Game, Karina. Game, recognize game. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game, right? <laughs> there it is, this guy, okay. <laughs> But seriously, you know, I can't wait to see you in your own white dress. How do you know you're going to be there to see it? Well, even if I have to crash it, I'll be there. He talking about a B&E? Mm -hmm. Mark, here are the leftovers you asked for. <laughs> yes, and thank you. Thank you. You are more than welcome to come back. Yeah. yeah. Such a pleasure meeting you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit the kitchen. Yes. Bye, Bye Tam. Bye. Bye. Brown noser. <laughs> what? I happen to like Tam's macaroni surprise. Well, that's only because the surprise hasn't materialized yet. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Karina, lock up for me, will you? I got you. Hey, you know, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. We should definitely do this again. And? What was your answer? I didn't say no. But I didn't say yeah. Oh, oh, oh sick come of you. on. Wait, come on. Come on. What is done. wrong with that? Because you're not negotiating a book deal. Okay. He's requesting a date. Date that man. He likes you. What's wrong? You don't think he likes you? Yeah, I do, but... What if I'm wrong? I don't want to come across as hard up and starved for affection. But you are hard up and starved for affection. Karina. You are kind, mm. nurturing, altruistic. Yes, big words. Hit it with the big words. <laughs> But so raw, you are running mm. like you always do when it comes to love. Yep. Like a sucker. Man. It's all complicated for all of us. But you have to just jump in. And Mark, he's a great, luscious, honest, yes. smooth. Okay, 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 okay. I know y'all mean well, but I got this. No, I don't got this. Karina, you seem to be in the midst of a personal evolution and every worthy evolution is born of necessity. The need to change, the desire to grow. But you're in a battle, a battle between faith and fear, the yin and the yang, the light and the dark, and you haven't decided which one is gonna win. So what I'm trying to say is don't let past hurts cripple your future. Your past hurts or another's. But what if the past is all you see? My ex, my mom, my father, it's... It's all pain. And then there's Mark. It's like, it's like he's too perfect. And that scares me. He scares me. What's wrong with being scared? Scared just means you're facing something that could change your life. And that's a good thing. When I first met my husband, I was terrified. But then I remembered that the Bible says that perfect love casts out fear. Karina? You can either open your heart and, and risk heartbreak, or you can close it off and risk loneliness. It's a risk either way, but one has a greater reward. Choices, Karina, always choices. Hey, stranger. Janelle told me you lived here. Yeah, is that girl a uh, bounty hunter? I mean, if not, then she definitely missed her calling. So, how are you? What have you been up to the last couple of days? The weather's nice. Yeah, right. I should stop babbling and explain myself. Yeah. Why are you here, Karina? And please, don't. Don't say it's not you, it's me. But it isn't you. It's all me. Okay, you do realize that that's what people say at the end of a relationship, 
Not the star. Wait a minute. You, you see a relationship in our future? Well, if I didn't see one, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Coffee? I'm a little overdressed. I'll wait. OK, so you got me out of my place. So what do you say we jump to the juicy part where we lay it all on the table? OK. I'm game. I'll go first. In my last relationship, I felt we moved too fast. He lied a lot, and um, it ended badly. And I don't want that to happen again. OK, so we won't let it. We'll start fresh. We'll take our time, see where things go. Total, complete honesty, starting now. So what's on your mind? Hey, no, don't think about it, <laughs> just say it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, I want to show you something. Huh. <laughs> It's the uh, Tribune Tower. Yeah. I was supposed to start work there a few weeks ago. Hmm. And why haven't you started? Because instead, I started writing my first novel. Uh, yeah. This is it. It's only the beginning, but yeah. OK, wait, wait. Is, is this the next great American novel? I mean, are you the voice of our generation? Uh, not our entire generation, but it is my voice. Well, can I read it? No, I, first of all, I can't watch you read this. And I don't know, I just, who said I could be a writer? I mean, who would think that? I mean, to be honest, I, I always thought you were going to be a writer. I mean, I remember seeing you over at Hampton at the waterfront writing in your little notebook. It was, it was cute. <laughs> you saw me writing out there? Um, right, well, what I mean is that, um, you know, I, no I noticed you and you, you seemed happy. Um, <clears throat> all I'm saying is that I'm glad you continued writing and I am. I'm really excited to finally read your thoughts. Well, who can say no to that? Okay. You don't have to lie to me. Hey, hey, no. Complete honesty, remember? Total 100% truth serum. Karina, it's good. I want to take you somewhere else. Either way. Tell me more about your mom. 
She was smart, patient, amazingly talented. Yet she was somehow stuck in a marriage with a man that, let's just say my father isn't the easiest person to live with. Must have been hard for her. I don't know what it is, but the people in my family, when they get married, they stay married. No matter what, no matter how hard. I wonder if I have that in me. Well, is that why you never got married? Yeah, that's why I'm a spinster. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, no one said you were a spinster, and who even uses that word anymore? As you know, I didn't mean it like that. Do you believe in love? I believe in the possibility of it. You know, that it's out there for everyone. Oh. So you think everyone finds it? No. <laughs> Some people think they want it, but they don't. Hmm. Well, I really don't think it should be hard. You know, love? I think we make it more complicated than it has to be. Yeah, well, you're probably right. But until people start trusting one another. Until people start being more trustworthy. Who hurt you? Huh. Somebody got more jokes. Who's joking? I'm seriously trying to find out who jacked you up. You coming? One order for the Jimmy's Ghost Pepper Links for two. Thank you. Oh, um, by the way, Karina, Ronnie, Ronnie, Karina. Nice seeing you. And uh, yeah, you could put this whole order in front of me. Thank you. Oh, girl. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. OK. Take the Lord. Amen. Hey, uh, Karina, listen. Ronnie was not joking about that hot sauce, so if you're lightweight, you might want to focus on the fries. Ain't nothing lightweight about me, okay? I got this. Okay. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Girl, eat the bread. Thank you. Eat the bread. Thank you, Ronnie. Woo! <laughs> Tasty. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, Mark, it's your turn. My turn? Oh, you mean to be in the hot seat? Yes, the hot seat. OK, so tell me, what's the deal? You seem like a decent enough guy. Oh, wow, the flattery is overwhelming. No, 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 you know what I mean. You're a good guy. Why haven't you been snatched up yet? Actually, you're talking to a man that was once engaged. So you almost made it to the promised land. What happened? Well, she caught it off two months before the date. What'd you do? Oh, how is it always the man's fault? Another girl? No, I'm a one-woman guy. You got cold feet, and she could tell. No, when I make my mind, it's made. I was down, she wasn't. OK, so chivalry is dead. Well, so is stupidity. Her and I dated for three years. If it was meant to be, it would have been. I'm a firm believer in what's meant to be will be. Every foot has a sock. <laughs> that part. <laughs> anyway, she's now married with a two-year-old and another on the way any day now. So you still talk to her? Well, yeah, of course. And what about your dreams? You told me that you're an accountant who hates numbers. I, I do not hate numbers. I hate crunching them. But I do have a plan, though. In 10 years, I would have saved enough money to start my own renewable fuel company. Details, please. Well, all around the world, we have junk and nowhere for it to go. But instead of making more landfills, we could be fueling the planet with what we're throwing away. Uh, you believe in turning trash into treasure? I believe in seeing the potential in things that others will be too blind to notice. Well, Miss Karina, I really had a good time. But I got to get going so I can reschedule the appointments that I missed today. You think you'll get in trouble? Oh, I'm definitely fired. <laughs> but it was worth it. 
Life's about choices, right? What? Nothing. You just reminded me of something. Oh. Well, if you are fired, you mm. can just spend your days watching me write the novel <laughs> no one is clamoring for. Uh, tempting. What's the dental plan like? So... 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 Kiss me. What? I want you to kiss me. <laughs> okay, so what, are we in the uh, habit of just asking for kisses now? Not usually. <laughs> but, um... I'm feeling a little brave today. Mm. Lucky you, man. Lucky. Yeah. I'm feeling like I might actually get what I want. And what exactly is that that you want? You will kiss me. Wow. Well, you know, I think I can oblige. I am, Lena. You are. <laughs> you think he's the one? What does that mean? Hmm? The one. What is that? To give you butterflies? Inside, inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know he does. But the moonwalk all across my counter. <laughs> However, I haven't had a kiss in I don't want to admit how long. OK, does he make you laugh? Yeah. But he's a fool. Everybody laughs at fools. Girl, what are you afraid of? Seriously. That he's the one and I am two seconds from blowing this. Sis, you're not going to blow it. Yes, I am. You're not. Just let it flow naturally. And have fun. And have faith. And plus, you cute, you popping, and your booty fat. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, we go together. Best friend to the end. Yeah, you the D to my NA. You always have been me. Even when you're not in me. I can't even sleep without you. I can't even sleep without you. Happy birthday to me. Mm. Happy birthday. <laughs> so it's my surprise. Well, it's definitely not a recording contract. You's a hater. I sound good. No, no I'm a hater. But I am a cute hater, right? Yeah, you are a cute hater. Can we say? You ain't so serious. I ain't so serious. Okay. Karina, um, 
I love you. Mark, I love you. I'm serious. Should I be worried? Did somebody die or something? No, no, no. Everyone's alive. It's just Karina. Um, wow, you see? Ooh. Yes, Mark. Karina, I love you. And I cannot see myself with anybody else but you. So, will you please be my wife? Snatch me up. Karina? Breathe. Breathe. You okay? You, water? Water. Okay. Okay. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. All right. Here you go. Here you go. Take it easy. Take it easy. There you go. Take a sip. Easy. Easy. Better? Why would you ask me that? Why? Wait, wait, are you, are you saying you don't want to marry me? Why do you want to marry me? I mean, it's, it's only been eight months, Mark. It's too soon. Plus, I am indecisive. I'm neurotic. I've got family baggage that could fill a hair. What do you- Hey, Karina, you are beautiful. You're caring, you're goofy, you're so, so smart. I mean, you encourage me to be better. Hell, you make me better. These eight months have been the best eight months of my life. You inspire me. Hell, you challenge me, you, you make me laugh. When I first saw you 10 years ago, voice in my head told me to step to you. And like the idiot I am, I didn't. But that same voice has told me that you're the one for me right now. We both know life is hard, but you make it so much better. And that's why I want to marry you. Hmm? I can't. this work. You don't really know me. I'm a mess. You'll end up hating me or you'll cheat on me. Then I'll end up hating you. Wow. You know, I really thought that we were past all of this. But I get it. You refuse to be happy and to even consider the possibilities. That's your issue, Karina. It's not your past, it's, it's not your parents. It's you. You choose to be unhappy and that, that's a flaw. That's what I am saying! God, I'm flawed, Mark. Why do you want to be with somebody that's flawed? Because I love someone that's flawed. And when you love someone, you just want to be with them, flaws and all. I wish I could believe you. But you don't know me, Mark. It's just if I... Stop. Just stop. I get it. You said no. Stupid. I made a mistake. Mark, I love you. Yo, is this a joke? You love me. Karina, love is a commitment. It's a connection, and, and you don't connect or commit to anything or anyone. Hell, you have a pet that you can't even touch. Karina, that's not an accident. That's by design.
Give me another. And no, this does not mean you're forgiven. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hey, are you sure you don't want this thing? No, I am done with fish. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it'll be nice for the nursery, right, Brad? Yeah. So what are you gonna get to keep you company now? I am done with pets, too. Ah, oh, quitter. Procreator. That's fair. That's about right. Yep. Elizabeth. It is the derivative of Elizabeth, and it means consecrated to God. Hey. Oh, how sweet. Oh, you like that? I love it. Yeah. Mushy <laughs> is not allowed. I am in mourning. OK. Sorry. <sighs> Try Joan. Ooh. It means God is gracious. <sighs> you love it? Mm. Hate it? Karina. Uh, Brad? Hmm? Oh, hey. Tim, is uh, it time? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. What do I need to do? Do, do, do? do we need hot water? Do we need fresh towels? Oh my God, I didn't do laundry. We're not gonna have the baby here, Karina. I gotta go. Hold on, we can, we can make it to the hospital. All right, here, hey, take this car. Okay. Call the doctor. Let her know that I'm taking Tim home. And I, I'll call her when the contractors are five minutes apart, okay? Check, yeah? check. Okay. I mean, I, I, I got it. Hey, hey, call me when you're on your way to the hospital. Okay. Uh, not long. They're giving her the epidural now. I knew she would punk out. <laughs> you nervous? I'm terrified. I threw up. <laughs> and I shit myself. Twice. Oh, gosh. Sympathy pain is real. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. Mm. What is it about the big things that stop you in your tracks? <sighs> You're asking the wrong person. How are you holding up? You know, I heard if you try really hard, you can almost trick yourself into believing your life doesn't really suck. I think the clinical term is denial. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> is it working? No. <laughs> no. But, you know, that might be because I haven't mastered it yet. Mm. How did I blow it, Brad? By punking out. <laughs> I've seen you do that in high school, too. Shut up. <laughs> It is a shame, though. You would have made a beautiful bride. Go in there and go help your lovely wife <laughs> with this horrible ordeal you got her into. <laughs> I did do that, didn't yes, I? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, heads up. I think you have company coming. Hey, remember. You're bigger than your fears. Hi. Hi. Uh, Brad called to tell me I was time. Yeah, uh, any minute now. Listen, if this is too awkward, I can always come back. No, no, no. How are you? 
Cool. Um, I'm up for a job in Cleveland. It's kind of a major promotion. Wait, Cleveland's a promotion? <laughs> yeah. Not geographically, maybe not, but job-wise it is. I miss you. So it's a girl, huh? <clears throat> yeah, um, Lisbeth is the name of choice. I was rooting for Karina myself, but. <laughs> I've always liked Lalanyo. It's African for the. For love is beautiful. That's a beautiful name. Um. <clears throat> I heard your fish died, huh? He did. I'm sorry. So am I. You know, um, I'm gonna leave this here for the baby. Just tell Tam and Brad I say congratulations, will you? Sandy, it's Mark. Um, actually, you know, I'm sorry. Were you asleep? No. No, I'm up. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I just... Listen, can I ask you something? Okay, shoot. Why'd you call off the wedding, Sam? Mark, you know why. We were too young. <laughs> That's the politically correct version. What's the real? Listen, I, I can handle it. Seriously, it's okay. I didn't think that we had found it. I thought we were really close, but... I wasn't the one for you. Mark, you are the right one for anybody. I just didn't think I was the one for you. There's somebody out there who will finish your sentences, who will make you laugh for no reason, who you won't be able to imagine living without. She should be your wife. I wasn't her. Are you still there? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Whatever it is, want to talk about it? No, oh, no, I'm good. Hey, uh, tell Danny I said hey, okay? I will. Take care. Come on, Karina. So? Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. Mm. You hate it, don't you? This is really, really good, sis. 
I'm sorry, I'm just not used to hearing positive reinforcement from someone named Carl, so. Oh, it's like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How is it working with dad again? Oh, the old man is so desperate that he's almost acting human. You still hate it though, right? Actually, it's the opposite. What? Yeah, I'm thinking about setting down roots at Blakeson Publishing. He gave me the option to acquire new manuscripts, so I have the uh, ability to sign new talent deals. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. You know who I have in mind first? No idea. You. Carl. Now you tell me this. How often do you get to stick it to your old man and make your sister's dreams come true simultaneously? Oh, come on, all right, I did good, I did good, I did good. All right, get off me. <sighs> that was beautiful. Thank you. Oh my, I wish one of you freaks gave Marissa that. You know it was you. Guilty. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with getting a little buck while in the wedding bed, okay? That's undefiled, Marissa. You gombo about to take that ass straight back to Wakanda. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. I put them on right here. Put your hands up in the hand. Aw, someone has finally fallen asleep. Yeah. <laughs> She's so tiny. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we were this tiny. I can't believe I have a human. Yes. That came out of my body. <laughs> she looks just like you. Thank God. <laughs> How are you doing? Did you get to say goodbye? What are you talking about? To Mark. Did you get to say goodbye? What are you talking about, Tan? The promotion in Cleveland, he leaves tomorrow. He said he told you. Yeah, he told me that he was up for the promotion, but he, he never said he took it. Oh, well, he accepted it last week and he called me and Brad to say goodbye. So he's leaving? Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? I guess it's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. Oh no, it's better to have loved and kept. You think I should call him? I'm saying that when you ask God for something, you need to be ready and willing to receive it. Jesus? Iyanla! She can fix your life. I mean, God can do it better, but Iyanla got stuff too. One more, bro. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Be careful with that box. That's my mom's old barge albums. Be sure to put that on the floor in the front. Come on, bro, you know I respect all vinyl, but where are my feet supposed to go? Anywhere but on that box. You should listen to him. It's pretty smart. Karina, what are you doing here? <clears throat> uh, Karina, this is my cousin Brian. Brian, this is my... This is Karina. Wow. The runaway brought in the flush. Can we have a minute alone? Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, I deserve that, I think. Why didn't you tell me you were leaving? Told you I might. I didn't think you were serious. I'm serious about moving to Cleveland. I thought you would have told me when you made the decision. Why would I do that? Right, that, that would make you a glutton for punishment. <laughs> so why are you here, Karina? I wanted to tell you that I got a new pet. It's a hamster. His name is Smudge. See, he has this, this all black fur. I wanted to say that I heard you. I heard what you said. You know, the thing about me not connecting, the love thing, I just... Karina. No, wait, listen, listen. I, I'm learning now. I pick him up, Smudge. I pick him up, I hold him. Lisbeth, too. I am learning how to connect. Listen, I am, I am happy for you. Truly, I am. 
But I can't do this anymore. But Mark, I am trying to. I get to it. Say... I get it. You're sorry, and I'm sorry. No. So I... I am trying to say that I love you, and I get it now. Funny thing is, I love you too. But it's not enough. You taught me that. I was wrong. It is enough. It isn't. Fear is bigger. Who's afraid now? Take care of yourself, Karina. So I asked Karina. Yup. She sorry? Yup. Too late? Yeah. Sure. Why you ask that? Come on, bro. Sound like you got the greatest shot record when it comes to fighting for women. Even when you love them. Uh, can we go? Yeah. Yeah, we can go. Let's do it. Stress. You look incredible. I have a question I gotta ask you, and it's a really important one. Karina, will you not marry me? Yes, I will. Wait, what? said, will you not marry me? I don't understand. Will you not marry me until you are sure that I love you, flaws and all, and that it will never change? Will you promise not to make a commitment to me until you trust that I will protect, love, and honor you until I die? I promise not to make a commitment until you know in your heart that I am the one and the only one for you. Most importantly, will you promise not to marry me until I have proven to you that I will love you through any hard times and any problem that we face in our future or damage sustained from your past. Karina Lakeston James, will you promise not to marry me until then? Yes. I will not marry you until then. nostalgic for Park Suites and you. Kiss me. Absolutely.
Spitting image of your mother. Ah. You're so, so beautiful. Thank you. I feel like she is right here. Well, she's here. Yeah. She's here. Karina, I, I want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. And I, I, I'm, I'm so honored that you. You asked me to walk down the aisle. Thank you for saying yes. Oh, Dad. <laughs> we have been through a lot of loss and pain as a family. But through, through the prayers and the tears and lots of therapy, I have learned a lot. I have learned that we have a choice, that we can choose love. I have learned that I can choose a happy ending. I choose that with you, Dad. I choose to forgive. And I want you there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being in this part of my life. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm sure it's you. You damn standing here without any fear. You see, every moment led me right to you. But when the castle. I'll remember you were meant to be Take my word for doing it. Come put out next to the Excuse me, get out of my way. This is my moment. Move, bitch. Thank you, God. Ladies and gentlemen, can we toast the beautiful bride and the groom? 
Three. Three. Three.